Welcome to a hey Math Group. In this video, we're going to learn how to perform the chi-square test in the TI-84. But first of all, what is the chi-square test? Well, this is a test that we're going to be using to find the association between rows and columns when you have a contingency table. So, the null hypothesis is going to state that the rows and columns are independent. And the alternative is going to be that the rows and columns are not independent. Let's do an example. Sebastian wants to discover if stress levels were related to the amount of time his co-workers spent traveling to or from work. We're going to test this at a 5% significant level. So look, basically, he recorded the travel time and the stress levels between high, moderate, and low. Today, we're going to test to figure it out if the rows and column or the level of stress is independent of the travel time. The alternative is going to be the stress level is not independent of travel time. So let's go ahead and get the calculator. Okay, so we have the calculator. The first step is to do second matrix because we're going to make a matrix in the calculator. Now you go to edit. And then look, we are on matrix A. Click enter. Our matrix uh, was a three by three because we had three columns and three rows. So I'm going to do three by three. And I'm going to put the numbers that we had in the table, <coughs> which was 10, 6, 19, 19, 9, 29, 18, 7, and finally, Eight. Oops, I made a mistake here. You can always go back. So this is seven and then finally eight. Now, in order to get out, you're going to do second quit. And we need to build the new matrix that's going to give me the expected value. So you go back to second matrix. And I promise you we're almost done. Then go on edit. But once you're on edit, you need to go down to matrix B. Look, it needs to be on the B. So you're going to click enter. And since you build a 3 by 3 on matrix A, you need to do a 3 by 3 on matrix B. So you can put, your calculator will put the expected values here. It doesn't matter if you have numbers there, it will be uh, deleted once you do the test. Now I can do second quit again to get out. And finally, I'm going to do stats. Once you have your two matrices set up, you go to the test of the chi-square. So you go all the way to the bottom. And I'm just going slow so you can see exactly where the test is. And bingo, I found it right here. X squared, and then it says slash test. The observed matrix is going to be A, the expected is going to be B, and you can either calculate or click on draw. Well, we're going to put calculate. Voila. We get the test statistics, which is 8.1957, all that, and we get the p-value. Moreover, we also get the degrees of freedom. Remember, the formula is rho minus 1 times columns minus 1. But the calculator gives you everything. Now, let's say that you want to figure it out your expected values. So you go to second quit, and you go again to your matrix by doing second matrix, then click on B, and then enter. Click enter again, and look at this. This is the matrix that shows all the expected values. Let's go ahead and finalize our problem now. Okay, so here we have the matrix with the expected values that I got from the calculator. Let's go ahead and figure out what is the conclusion. I got my test statistics, my p-value, and the degrees of freedom. So let's remember. If P is less than the significant level, which they give it to you in the problem, in our case was 5%, we're going to reject the null. If P is greater than the significant level, we're going to retain the null. All right, we got 0 0.0847, which is greater than 0 0.05. That means that P is greater than the significant level, so we retain the null. And the conclusion is the level of stress is independent of the travel time. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to watch the other videos we have. And also, 